Evers. That's right, a pretty crowded hearing in here. Let me show you what's going on right now. This is the city council chamber. All seven members are here right now, and it's pretty crowded. They heard a presentation from a group called Together NOLA. That group was highly critical of the recent property assessments. They pointed out that large chunks of the city, including Uptown, were not assessed recently. We're going to have more on that coming up at 4, 5, and 6. But here to talk about that right now is Angelica Morris from Housing NOLA. What is your initial reaction hearing that large chunks of New Orleans were not assessed this go-round? It just reinforces the inequities in this assessment. It reinforces the problems, uh, the things that we knew uh, that are going to lead to more problems to keeping the city affordable. All right, we're going to have more with you coming up at 4, 5, and 6. Also here is State Representative Stephanie Helferty. Because your district was hit so hard, you've asked the state to do something. What is that? Yeah, I mean, we've seen across the board um, dramatic increases. I've asked the state legislative auditor to look into the appraisal and assessment process that the assessor's office went through and to issue an, a report on that. So they they will be working on that. All right, thank you very much. We'll have more with you coming up in later newscast. And once again, you can take, take another look inside. This has been a hot button topic, a contro controversial topic in the city of New Orleans. A lot of people going up to the podium to speak, asking the council to take action if that's even possible. Because like I said, a lot of people are not happy with their recent property tax assessments. The council is trying to do what it can as a body. It may not be much at this point, but this group, Together New Orleans, made a presentation that was highly critical of the assessor's office. And we'll let you know the details coming up at 4, 5, and 6. For now, we're live at City Hall. I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News.